Welcome to KID Company with Kabir, Isha and Dhruv. I am Azan and today we are going to learn about how to identify a point, a line, a line segment and a ray. To measure a line segment, to draw a line segment, to identify different types of lines. So let's go and see what KID Company is up to. What is this after class duty? Why can't we just go home? Seriously, I have to run to my tuitions and I have not even finished my homework. Come on, it will be fun. Huh? Let us see what we have got here. Flags, chalk dust. So, what are you going to do? Decorate the race tracks, I guess. That is what ma'am said. Put flags. So, where do you start? Did she mention any specific point? Point? No. She did not mention any point. What is a point? Let me explain. A point is an exact location. In geometry, a point is shown as a dot. A point has no exact length, breadth and thickness. It has no size or shape. It is generally used to locate an exact position. A point is named by using a capital letter. Here, the three points are named A, B and C. A group of points can be collinear or non-collinear. When three or more than three points lie on a same line, they are called collinear points. Here, points P, Q and R are collinear points. But, when three or more than three points are not on a same line, they are called non-collinear points. Here, the five points D, E, A, B and F do not lie on the same line. Hence, the points are non-collinear. Oh, I remember ma'am saying that the flags of each house need to be put in one straight line from one end to the other end of the path. I think that is what you meant when you asked points. Right, Dhruv? Yes, exactly. Let me now explain you how to understand a line geometrically. A line is a set of points joined along a straight path. It has no ends and extends endlessly in opposite directions. Thus, arrow marks are drawn on both sides to show that it never ends. A line cannot be measured. The given line can be read as line AB or as line BA. It can be written as a, B or B, A with a double-headed line over it. So, let's say this point is point A and the other end is point B. Now, let us take these two points and join them along a straight path. The straight path drawn to join two points is called a line segment. It has two end points and a fixed length which can be measured. We can even say that a line segment is a part of a line which has a fixed length. The given line segment can be read as line segment AB or BA. It can be written as segment AB or segment BA. Hmm, interesting. But I have always considered a line segment to be a line. The assembly line in the morning is also actually a line segment because it has ends, right? Right. Oh, I remembered another interesting thing about line segments. A line segment which extends endlessly in one direction is called a ray. Have you noticed the rays of the sun? They start from the light source, which is the sun, and go on endlessly in one direction. A ray has only one end point and does not have a fixed length. Hence, it cannot be measured. The above ray can be read as ray AB. It cannot be read as ray BA. 
The first letter should be the end point letter. It is called its initial point. It can be written as Re A B. Fun, right? I just read this rule book regarding the length of the race track, and there are hundred meter, two hundred meter, and five hundred meter race tracks. The race track is also a line segment, and measuring line segments is not a difficult job, Kabir. We can measure line segments using a ruler. First, let us start with small lengths. Let us measure this line segment AB using a ruler. Here, we will use a centimeter scale as a ruler. Place the zero mark of the ruler along one end of the line segment, that is point A. The marking on the ruler at which the line ends, that is the marking at point B. Gives us the measure of the line segment. Here, the line segment AB measures eight centimeter. We can even measure a line segment using a divider. Consider this line PQ. Place the pointed ends of each arm of the divider on the ends of the line segment. Lift the divider carefully from the top without moving its arms and place it on the ruler. With one end of the divider on the zero mark, the marking on the ruler, where the other arm of the divider points to, is the measure of the line segment. Here, the line segment PQ measures four centimeter. Now I will tell you how to draw a line segment of any given measure. Say, we need to draw a line segment of six centimeter. Follow these steps. Place the ruler on the paper and mark a point against zero centimeter. Name the point as A. Count from zero centimeter till six centimeter and mark a point B at six. Hold the scale firmly and join a straight line segment to join points A and B. Following the above steps. We can draw a line segment of any given measure. Now, let us get a little more complex. Let us see how to draw a line segment measuring 8.4 cm. Look at the ruler closely. The ruler has markings in centimeters. Each centimeter is divided into 10 smaller divisions. Each small division is equal to One millimeter, so one centimeter equals ten millimeter. Eight point four centimeter is eight centimeter and four millimeters. First, mark point C against zero centimeter. Count up to eight centimeter on the ruler to show eight centimeter, and count ahead four small divisions after eight to show eight point four centimeter. Mark the point and name it as point D. So, the line segment CD measures eight point four centimeter. Well, that was really interesting to learn about points and lines while volunteering at the same time. Let's go and learn more about points and lines. Oh my God! I came to help you. Do not worry, Isha. They are just parallel lines. We'll draw them back. Parallel lines. What do you mean? There are different types of lines, Kabir. Let me explain. There are three types of lines: intersecting lines, parallel lines, perpendicular lines. Two lines which meet at a common point are called intersecting lines. Here, line AD and line BC intersect at the common point O. The letter X, a pair of scissors, and the intersecting junctions on roads are examples of intersecting lines.
lines which never meet and are always at an equal distance from each other are called parallel lines here line ab and line cd are parallel to each other as they are at an equal distance from each other and they do not meet the railway track is a great example of parallel lines other examples are stripes on a shirt the lines on the page of a notebook two lines which intersect and make a right angle at a common point are called perpendicular lines line pq and line rs intersect at point o and make a right angle at a point o thus line pq and line rs are perpendicular to each other the arrangement of the wooden sticks of a kite is an example of perpendicular lines other examples are edges of a table or photo frame and the lines on the race track which you were worried about are parallel lines so we will look at one line and finish the other lines by drawing lines parallel to the first one okay kabir yes so isha now that you have come all the way help us in our work <laughs> <laughs> I am guessing the after class duty has taught them much and of course it has taught us too today we have learned how to identify a point a line a line segment and a ray to measure a line segment to draw a line segment to identify different types of lines till then keep learning keep practicing by logging on to toplearning.com bye bye